What's up guys? Today I'm going to be unboxing the Jackson RR24 Winter Storm. Let's see what we got. Here she is. This is a winter storm. Here we go guys, here it is. The Jackson RR24 winter storm. Um, just gonna go over a couple things about it. Uh, just the features and then I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like. Just, just kind of over reviewing it real quick. Uh, and then I'll probably do a video of me playing it, the sound, all that. Um, so this this guitar came out this year, um, 2020. I saw it on the NAMM videos, and it kind of caught my attention because it's you know a little something different, more of a, I like more white guitars, um, even though this is a winter storm finish. So it's more of a smoky kind of gray look. Um, it may look in the light that it's white, um, but in the dark and a little in more darker areas it's actually almost like a like I said like a silver smoky kind of grayish look um, as you can see on the side it, the back is white so you got the matching headstock which is, is cool so the body is a mahogany body um, it's actually pretty light it feels really good and, and it's very well balanced um, I like that. Uh, it is a maple neck, neck through body, with the scarf joint, as you can see. Um, it's pretty thin. It's just like, uh, actually it plays, it's more like all the other um, Jackson uh, Pro Series models, like some of the uh, soloists. It's got like one of those, that same feeling of neck. It is a 25 and a half inch scale, 24 frets, uh, ebony fretboard. The Jackson 12 to 16 inch compound radius that they always do. Uh, I really like that. The Floyd on it is a 2000 series. Uh, it's not bad. I uh, uh, stays in tune so far, really good. And then we got the Seymour Duncan distortions uh, in the for the pickups SN and the TB for the neck. Um, so my first initial thoughts, again, when I got it, when I ordered it online, I, it looked in a way like that it was white. It had a really white look with a little bit of the um, quilted part that you can see. When I received it and I opened it up, I was a little bit surprised that it wasn't as white as I thought it was going to be. So it kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, it's not bad. I don't mind it. I just, it's just the fact that. It, the pictures are a little deceiving, basically, um, and, and it might be also different finish. I know every top might be a little different in finish, um, so I could tell up close that this one is completely different than the one in the picture that they were advertising before they shipped them out. This is a little bit more of the, the quote part. You can see is a little bit more fine lines, where the other one's more of like a quilt in the picture. If that makes sense. Um, other thing is on I don't know on the headstock the Jackson logo is actually smaller the print is actually smaller than what it normally is on uh, normal Jacksons as I can say uh, which is a little disappointing I don't know I, I like the I like that fact that it would be bigger it would be nice let me see if I can see you can tell on this this Rhodes um, the logo is a lot bigger compared to this, it just sticks out a little more. So the Seymour Duncans in these are actually pretty good. It's the first time I've played the distortions. I'm usually playing EMGs, but I'm actually a pretty, I'm a fan of these, not bad. Uh, I still will probably switch them out eventually, uh, either Fishman's or EMGs, something like that, but these will do for a while. Uh, the Floyd, the Floyd's not bad. Uh, it stays in tune really good, um, but the only thing is, is that you know it's it's got some click with the arm. You can hear the the grinding 
kind of moves around. Um, it's, I mean, it's not original Floyd Rose, but it is close. So the quality control on this is, it's, it's okay. There's um, on the top part right here where it starts to uh, get painted. Um, it's a little sloppy, you can tell. And some of the uh, fret cuts right here, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit defined. Uh, but it's not too bad. I've seen some pretty bad Jacksons actually with quality control. This one's actually pretty good. Um, it plays really good actually. Um, I don't really have too many other problems with it. The only other thing, and I mean, I know this is not just on this guitar, but all Jacksons for the roads. And we can move these and our neck through have the have the strap button right here. And put on strap locks, uh, getting up to the upper frets. It's really bad. I can't even. Um, for me, I can't put uh, strap locks on it right now because I can't get up there. So I have to find something else to do with that. I really like the black hardware on it. I think it complements the, the white really great. I'm glad Jackson made that decision to do black hardware on this one. My favorite part of the guitar is definitely the reverse headstock. It's just, it's so metal looking. I also like the black binding on the body part. I think that looks really good. Really makes it pop more. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, play this. I'll be playing this live uh, in the band I play in and uh, see what my, you know, get some time with this, see what I think about it. Anyways, I will put uh, something else of me playing it soon.